We begin tonight with that very rare public apology coming from the head of that food empire, Paula Dean. Her TV shows, cookbooks, endorsements, much of it in jeopardy tonight. The self-proclaimed queen of Southern cooking is herself feeling the heat tonight. Late today, a bold move, Dean posting a video on YouTube asking for forgiveness after admitting she's used racial slurs in the past. And tonight, as we come on the air, already a decision from arguably her most important partner, the Food Network, saying they are not renewing her contract, they're ending the relationship. Again tonight, ABC Steve Osinsami on the power of words and the powerful consequences. Please forgive me for the mistakes that I've made. Southern Cooking's biggest and brightest ambassador came out apologizing today for using racist language. I want to apologize to everybody uh, for the wrong that I've done. Uh, I want to learn and grow from this. Inappropriate, hurtful language is totally, totally unacceptable. She first put out a short edited statement online, but then replaced it with a longer unedited apologies. Your color of your skin, your religion, your sexual preference does not matter to me but it's what in the heart. One tablespoon of butter. She started this fire on her own and newly released deposition transcripts from a lawsuit filed by one of her former employees. Dean admits in her own words to using racial slurs. Have you ever used the N-word yourself? Yes, of course, she said. And then later, I'm sure I have, but it's been a very long time. She also says she once suggested to an assistant that she hire middle-aged black men to dress up in white jackets and black bow ties for an old Southern plantation wedding, saying that she liked the Civil War look, even though it was when black slaves waited on white people, but says she didn't mean anything derogatory. For a Southern woman who's published 14 best-selling cookbooks and built a nearly $16 million empire representing all things good, really delicious, and fried about the South, those words were tough on her brand. Everybody's up in arms about Paula Dean. Late today, the Food Network announced it will not renew Paula Dean's contract when it expires at the end of this month. I beg you, my children, my team, my fans, my partners, beg for your forgiveness. The big question now for Dean is whether her apology is enough. Losing the TV show, a big platform, could be just the beginning, unless time heals the wound. David? Steve Osinsami leading us off tonight. I want to bring in ABC's chief legal affairs anchor and the new anchor of Nightline, Dan Abrams. And Dan, this began with a case that few of us had heard about. This is why they say everything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. That's exactly what happened here. And this is why very often high profile people will settle a civil lawsuit so that they don't have to be deposed and face this kind of questioning. You covered a lot of these cases, the regret involved. Paula Dean has a lot of fans, but this is a big business too. That's right, so there are two avenues here. First is the corporate avenue, and there she's got problems. You already see the Food Network is pulling back. She's got sponsors, I think she's gonna have real problems there. The question is, can she get her fan base back? That's gonna take some time. Her apology at the beginning of the day was very weak. She had big problems with it. By the end of the day, came back with a much more vigorous apology. We're just gonna have to see. All right, ABC's Chief Legal Affairs anchor, Dan. Abrams.